Now let's go back 5,000 years ago. If you've ever been to a funeral in Africa, I lived in, uh, I spent a lot of time in Congo for about two, two and a half years, I still do. Unfortunately, I got to go to 12 funerals of children under the age of five that die because they have malnutrition. I'm not trying to make you sad, but I'm gonna give you the why blockchain is where it is today. So if you're in a village in Africa, in Congo, or any African village, let's assume this is the village. Do you know how funerals are paid? Everybody in the village brings their 50 Congolese francs, 50 pesos, for the week, and they give it to a mother. This is, by the way, I'm sure it happens in other countries, but in Africa, this happens every day. So the mother collects the week's money, which is 50 Congolese francs, which is like 50 pesos, goes into a box, and she holds the box. The next week, she gives the box to her, to her, and then the village again comes and puts the money. If somebody dies, which unfortunately I got to see many times, the village pays for the funeral. Okay? Think about that for a second. There's no centralized database, right? There is consensus among all the villagers that everybody's making their equal contribution to the funeral, right? So far? And if somebody misses a payment, they know, hey, you missed your payment, fulanito, put it next week, whatever, right? But what's interesting in this example versus that first example is that everybody in the village has the same copy of the transaction. And the transaction being 50 cents I put into the funeral box, right? Second, there's a trust or consensus that Everybody in the village does their duty and puts in the 50 Congolese francs, right? So there's consensus, there's trust. And what's interesting about that is everybody has the same copy of that information. Now, you could, somebody in the audience could say, well, I could kill half the village or I could you know, be a village chief and I could steal everything, which happens. The point I'm trying to make is that the information of those two pieces, which is we are in a village and we're making the 50 cents contribution. And if somebody dies, the box pays for the funeral, right? There was no central authority. There was no bank. And the information couldn't be really manipulated because everybody has a copy of the same transaction.